both the flowing water, fresh water, stagnant water stinks. He faced the wall because he means he saw people as wall, so he thought there's no need to talk. But he kept on doing otherwise. Buddhism would have been wouldn't have been that powerful even after centuries past they talk about it. And then one disciple came and said, Master, if you do not turn your face, I will cut my tongue. And Bodhidharma, it seems, he turned around and he said, I got the first disciple who could take it for. No, 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 that is all rubbish written. First of all, there was no such disciple, one disciple. There was no, no Bodhidharma who sat facing the wall. The thing is, Bodhidharma felt it was a wall, so he could, he could, he could find out, he could try to find out where through his example of Karma Yoga that he keeps doing work without expecting result. Without expecting result, that was the facing the wall. When he kept on doing the wall, he could do much faster and powerful than the people in China. And they were shocked that at the end of the whole work, the power was so much that he could sit relaxed and the relaxation was meditation. It was such beautiful sleep with no dreams. That emptiness, in that emptiness, you could always taste the truth 